So today sees the release of the latest beta version of Brizzy Pro, that is 0.04. And what they brought to it now is the ability to start using advanced custom fields or ACF alongside Brizzy Pro templates. Now pods and tool set will be coming soon, but in this video, I just wanna give you a very brief demonstration of how we can start to use ACF alongside Brizzy Pro. My name is Paul C and this is WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to be notified every single time new content is added. Okay, so Advanced Custom Fields is now being brought into Brizzy Pro, the beta version, so this is not the final version. However, if you want to grab yourself an early license, a lifetime license for a special price, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. You help support the channel, costs you no more money, and we really, really, really appreciate your support. Okay, so ACF, Advanced Custom Fields. I just want to give you a really brief demonstration. So if I just jump over into my dashboard, you can see this is the very simple ACF setup that I've got. An artist name, bio, an artist image. I've set this up to be used on all post types. And I've also gone through and disabled most of the standard post content, sort of like the excerpt, the content editor, and so on. So with that in place, if we jump over and take a look at our posts, we'll see I've got one sample post in there. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. The artist name, bio, artist image, that's it. Now to access the templating system inside Brizzy, all we need to do is come into Brizzy and go to the templates. Now we're not going to give you any details on how the templates work. I've already covered that in a previous video. So check that out. I'll put a link in the description below and pop a little card up in the corner now so you can go and take a look at that to get a heads up on how it works. But we're going to use this basic simple post template that I've previously created. I'm just going to edit that with Brizzy. And as you can see, all that's in there at the moment is a title image. And we've got one little piece of dynamic text, which is the post title, which we can now simply delete from there. Now, if you want to insert dynamic content, there's a couple of ways of doing it depending upon what content you're putting in. If you want to pull up just a dynamic field, for example, in this, ex this case, we want the artist. All we need to do is put the hash symbol in or in the case of a UK keyboard, it's shift and three, which will give us the pound sign. We also see that brings up all the different content options that we can pull in and we can pull in both ACF fields and standard post type fields or page fields. You can see things like post title, content, excerpt, and so on. We simply want to use the artist name. So once I click on that, that now replaces my little hash symbol or my pound symbol with the short code for the artist name. So there's the first part. If we come down now to the second part, we're gonna to click to add something new in there. We're gonna to choose to put an image in. We're gonna drag and drop that into the first column. Now once we do that, we can click on the image itself. We can click on the image source. And you can see we can upload an image exactly the same as we normally could. And if we've taken a look at the previous video where I showed you how to create dynamic content, you'll see we've got the little server icon to the right hand side of the image upload option. This allows us to pull in the dynamic data. Click on there, you can see we now have artist image, which is our custom ACF field, alongside featured image, site logo, and author profile, which are default WordPress sort of content we can pull in. So we want the artist image, we'll drop that in there. Now, one thing I would like to see in a future iteration of this is the ability to actually preview text and preview images. So instead of just the placeholders, we can see some content because it allows the styling aspect just to become a little bit easier. So with that in place, if you want to go through and style this, we could apply some styling. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that there are still quite a few bugs and quirks that haven't been ironed out yet. This is a beta version. So things like styling your text doesn't really work very well. So you may find that you set your parameters up inside the template, but nothing actually shows up. And I'll show you an example of that in a moment. Let's go through now and put in the content, our artist bio. So the same thing again, we're simply gonna to click to add a new element, and we're gonna come in and we're gonna say we wanna put a text element in there, we'll drop it in, we'll take this string of filler text out, and we'll do our shift and three to bring up our little short codes. And in there, we're gonna say we want the artist bio. Once we do that, again, you can see the short code is replaced and everything looks good. Now, if I wanted to, I can highlight this and I can go through the styling aspect of things. So I can say it's paragraph and I want to change it to Roboto. And you'll see inside the demonstration, it works inside the templating, but it doesn't always work very well on the front end. This is something I've spoken to the developers about and it is going to be updated in the next version or two. They are aware of it. So just bear that in mind if you're using this to test things out. 
Okay, so there's our basic information. We've got our image applied in the left-hand side, our artist name at the top, and our artist bio. So let's just update this, and let's take a look at a preview now so we can see how this all works. So if we click on the little eye icon to preview it, you can see now we've got the name of the, the post, the image we pulled in, the custom image, and the text. And as you can see, the styling hasn't been picked up. We don't have those paragraphs in there. So this is what I'm talking about. Like I say, they are aware of it. It should be fixed in the next revision or two. Okay, so that's how easy it is to start pulling in ACF data. Now I came across a couple of little bugs or issues when I was testing this latest version out. And one of the main ones is that if I try to use ACF version five, the latest build, then it doesn't actually allow me to pull in the information. None of the fields that I create inside my custom uh, fields are displayed. Whereas if I use version four, everything is working fine. That might be a local issue to me, the way that I've got my local server set up. You may not experience that, but it's worthwhile if you have access to version five, the latest build, the full pro build, test it out and let me know exactly how you get on with it. If you find that version four works fine, then at least we know we're kind of seeing the same kind of problems. I also found that if I tried to create a button and assign the URL for the button that I wanted to sort of create for my custom post, nothing would actually show up in there. I didn't get the ability to see the link that I put in the custom field that I wanted to use inside my button. Again, this may be something to do with my local server environment, but again, if you've tried this out or if you test this out yourselves, let me know, do you see the same problem? If you create a custom URL field and you try to assign that to a button, did it work for you? If so, let me know and let me know how you set things up so I can test it out and see if it's just something specific to me. Anyway, I think this is a fantastic start to integrate ACF and before long we'll have pods in there and we'll have tool set. But I think if they can get this right, it's going to help really boost the sales of Brizzy Pro, especially for those people that want to go above and beyond the basic WordPress website, but also have an incredibly nice and simple, fast and intuitive interface to work with, something that Brizzy has in spades. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and I would love to get your feedback on what you think of the direction of Brizzy Pro. Have you tested this out? Have you tried it with ACF? Did you find any problems? What kind of problems did you experience? If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything else we cover on the channel, pop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content. As always, until next time. Take care.